get this one out of the way real quick here because uh, I know I look like a bit of a mess right now. And, you know, hair's all goofed up and good grief, I haven't shaved in a while. But I have a good reason for that. You may know that Saturday, just this last one, we held an Easter egg hunt with the club that I'm the president of. I am the president of the Nerd Culture Club and we held an Easter egg hunt just last Saturday from about 10 to noon. And it was really great. We were out there raising money for Southeastern Guide Dogs. They're a local charity that day. They do, well, as I say, they have guide dogs for the blind. And we actually got a really good turnout. I was, was pleasantly surprised about that. You know, I was a bit worried at first that no one was going to show up. And then we were worried like too many people were going to show up because right before we were going to do it, we got word that uh, the college was going to put out a press release, which was like, mm -hmm. did we have enough eggs? Did we have enough eggs? Which is the big question. But we have enough eggs, we had enough. Everyone was real happy, which I'm, I'm glad this turned out as well as it did, you know. At the beginning of the semester, I, I put out a little goal for the club, you know, to try to get out there and be more involved in the community. And we did it. I achieved a goal I set out to do at the beginning of the semester. I, I, that's like an adult responsibility thing. Like I just did it. The club was here, I set a goal, set milestones and plans and we fulfilled the plans and we achieved it and we raised the over 100 bucks for the guide dog charity. I was like, that's great. I'm, I'm genuinely amazed with that. And the only time is something that I think I picked up a cold from one of the kids, but nah, you know, you win some, you lose some, but I, I can't get over how happy this makes me feel that, you know, we did it. We did something together. That just makes me real proud, you know. People make jokes that, you know, nerds won't do anything, you know, they're a bunch of lazy bums and whatnot who just sit around all day just passively sh in inhaling and consuming their niche media, but no, we did something. We, we, we had a positive effect on the community, even if it was, well, a drop in the ocean, but we did something, and that's worth celebrating. Yeah, that's worth celebrating, but uh, now that the, uh, the good news portion, let's get back to the regular stuff. We had a statistics test tomorrow, which I think I'm going to go better than the last one, because in this one I've actually had time to study and prep for, I was able to uh, work out my schedule a little better, even on top of, you know, that last week run up to the Easter egg hunt, which had me, I think, more worried than I needed to, but, you know, I, it's me. I will stress over every small detail until my hair falls out, and it probably will fall out eventually, but I'll always have these videos to remind me that I once had hair, regardless. This is, this is, this is, I'm, a, I'm a little worried, because we're just, we're just using our calculators, you know, to uh, just hit the one button. Just, you select one of the five statistics tests that are on these things. I'm a little, a little concerned because I'm not quite sure how to tell just by looking at like the word problem, uh, which one to run, because the way the professor words problems in the test are a bit ambiguous. Like, I can tell that he like, he just, you know, copies and pastes them and reworks them for different tests to just sort of let's change out a few words, so that's not fun. But I think I'm gonna do better than the last one, and I hopefully won't have to take a mulligan on it like I did the last one, because yikes. <clears throat> you know, things are going alright. We had to do this dumb project, well half dumb and half interesting project, where we had to do our own little statistical scientific experiment thing. We had to test uh, a claim from like two products, you know, so we ended up doing our little group is makeup removal wipes, you know, comparing like the, the generic brand versus uh, the, the, uh, the <clears throat> like Neutrogena or, and the CVS brand. So, you know, I bought some wipes, got some makeup, and you know, we went around the room, you know, put some makeup all over my arm and then took some of it off, took, took it off with the wipe, and then we're like, oh, what do you people think? Is this one better than this? Which did what? Turns out, yeah, some shopping advice for you, all of you that need makeup wipes, you know. That's the, the generic brand, your CVS, or at least the CVS brand at least is functionally identical. It might, it might not, it doesn't feel as nice and it has a weird kind of smell to it, but it's functionally identical and it's cheaper, so there's that. But the, the real thing that was going is that I might be allergic to some type of makeup, I'm not sure, because after we're done with that, I'm not sure if it's the wipe or the makeup itself, but yeah, no, I broke out in hives a little bit, just just right there, which was, that was fun. That was a fun afternoon try, just, eh, oh, well, I'm breaking out in hives now. Alright, this is, this is my day. Got over that, and got through with that, and, and I survived that, which is evident, considering I'm here telling it to you, so I'm not dead, which is, you know, a positive. Sometimes it's had a lot of, I've been in a, having a bit of a tough, all the stress of the, the event and all that kind of put me in a sour mood this past week, but, you know, I was able to power through, and here I am. 
you know, for my the film class, the, the one we just watched was a really interesting one called The Kids Are Alright. And it's sort of this really interesting look at family dynamics and a non-traditional family structure. I don't want to I don't, I'm not sure how to talk about it, you know? It's just sort of those movies that just explore the day-to-day -day lives of its characters. There's not really, like, an overarching plot so much as just sort of the struggles of, you know, family life and whatnot. And, you know, it's, it's been done a lot, that sort of story, but this is, it just, this one has an interesting spin on it. So the kids are all right. Two separate words, not one word. <clears throat> the other thing, one I actually had to do a, a write-up on, I chose this one, it's, this, um, it's on Amazon Prime, I think, for free. It's this, like, little low-budget fantasy film called Mythica, A Quest for Heroes. Like, it's, I thought it was going to be, like, goofier and cheesier than it turned out to be, but it was still, you know, entertaining for a free movie, basically. It's very, um, very, like, simplistic story-wise. You know, it even has, like, the cliché, like, fantasy adventure party of, like, you got the fighter, the thief, the, the mage, and the cleric, you know. This means nothing to you if you're not into fantasy or ever played Dungeons and Dragons, but my audience, who knows? I don't know. I'm gonna see if that sticks. There's like five movies in this little franchise here, so it's it's worth a weekend of fun. Yeah, let's see what else? What else? I've been holding up all right. This is we're starting starting to get into that end of the year time frame, so professors are starting to whisper out exams and shoot, you know. Even though we just wrapped up a service project with the club, we gotta jump right on it. We gotta do a fundraising event soon, so that's another thing I need to start planning. But doing all right. Same thing with the martial arts class. You know, last week was uh, at least this county spring break, and I'm gonna start jumping into it this week and start getting the, uh, the kids ready for their big final. You know, demonstration and show. It's always fun. We're back to normal. We're back to normal around here, somewhat. Just say there's some behind the scenes stuff uh, that. Well, a little, a little turbulent right now. I'm not going to concern you guys with that. I just want to let you know that there is some stuff going on. It shouldn't be. I'm trying not to let it get to me too much, but it's, it's going to get to me. When, hopefully, when this thing, this big thing that's going on behind the scenes is all over, I'll be able to tell it to you guys with a complete beginning, middle, and end. Because right now, I'm in the middle of it. I don't want to tell a story that's not done yet. Regardless, glad that we got. I'm glad we got some kind of normalcy going on. You guys are out there having too, you know. But how are you guys doing? Well, it's been tough. I can, I can see on the social media how everyone's kind of doing, but it always feels like there's just, you know, a bit of distance because, you know, I live out so far in the middle of nowhere and everyone's kind of moved away there and whatnot. It's, it's, it's tough, you know, trying to keep and keep friendships going, but that's just, I guess this is how it is uh, in, the, in this uh, modern era. I think, I think I'm starting to ramble now, so I'm just going to, like, cut it here and... Before I, you know, I just start going off on a million tangents and then it's impossible to edit this thing and put it together. So, see you guys next week, hopefully. Stay good out there.